Hi, Pisces and Pisces Rising Friends Center from ForYourChi.com. Here today to do your monthly tarot and oracle card reading for October 2022. Welcome to October. Thank you for being here. We're doing your first six houses as usual here for free on YouTube. The rest will be contained in the extended in the description box below. Don't forget about my contest. I need to get to 1300 subscribers. I'm almost there. Make sure you're sharing the video with your friends so that they can subscribe to my channel so we can get closer to the 1300 and I can select three lucky winners to win free readings with me. Make sure you're commenting on the videos because it's the comments that I'm going to gravitate towards now. Let's get to your reading. First house, crown chakra. This is the aha moment chakra. The epiphany chakra. The light bulb goes off kind of moment. So pay attention to those types of moments, those energies coming in, those intuitive hits in the first few days of October. Make a commitment. Okay, so this is about taking action on a result of what you're getting, the information that you're getting here. So this is receiving the information and this is agreeing to or making a commitment to see it through because a lot of times this is an action step card and apparently today's message is no exception pisces now your second house where you currently or your money rather this is your money your stuff stand your ground you also pulled self-respect now Aquas had self-respect in this house too. They had a bit of a different message in the second house though, as far as the tarot. So if you have Aqua Aquarius that is somewhere in your chart, go check out that reading. There might be something in there for you. But this is the Pisces drawing the boundary line on stand, and standing up for yourself on anyone who's trying to spend your money for you just say no you know don't i would not let anyone borrow any money in october i would not let anyone railroad me into agreeing to go half seas with them on something that you don't really want or buying an item that you don't want or need okay have i mean the self-respect card is self-explanatory here right and so there's also like this card is like it always the circle part of it i always gravitate to, like draw the circle in in the sand right but there's also a circle in this card too which is kind of unusual for the archangel michael deck you don't really see a lot of circles in this deck so draw the line in the sand pisces and don't budge your third house, house of brother, sister, well, they're panicking about something in October. This is the panic phobia card. Um, and, you know, you may have a brother or sister who has high anxiety anyway. And if that's the case, just know that their anxiety, unfortunately, will be on steroids for the majority of October. You may have to calm them down somehow and let them know that the higher power is in charge and has their back and is not going to leave them in a place when they have been cared for and taken care of their entire lives right um so the pisces may have to remind their brother or sister about that now your house of home spiritual union this is a big one it's the karma card you could be moving home uh selling your home moving to a different one you are you may already be packed up and you're ready for this move for others of you you could have a visitor or a change in residence uh you know change in roommates change in who's coming to live with you someone could be leaving your home someone could be moving in but whatever this is, you have to know that it was meant to happen at this time. That's what the karma card means. It means big changes, 
most of them can be happy. It doesn't necessarily have to be sad, but change can, this kind of change, because it's so big, it can be, you know, a little nerve wracking, right? Romance angels are helping you here. Okay. So for the majority of you, this is talking about a partner. Um, you could be moving someone in your home and this is the, or moving in with them. And so the romance angels are trying to help collaborate the two of you. Um, so that I, I'm seeing like a lot of stuff, like there's too much that, you know, there's two sets of silverware and there's two, two hand mixers. All right. So, so you might be going through your stuff thinking, okay, we need to get rid of this. We can't have two. I want to keep mine. Let's ditch his. Not all the time, right? I'm giving you an example. So, and I'm laughing, I'm smiling to myself because I just had a talk with the Pisces about this recently. And I told her what I do to avoid arguments in the house. And that is, and she's going to watch us and laugh too. And that is we flip a coin. So, you know, I get heads, he gets tails or whatever. It doesn't have to always be the same. Heads, I win. Tails, you win. And I avoid arguments all the time like this. And I even do this in public. So one time I was at a, a car dealership and I was waiting for my car. And there's two teenage girls who were within about, I don't know, 10, 15 feet. And they're arguing about who's going to get the front seat, who's going to sit in the front seat. And it was getting pretty bad. And so I get in the middle of them and I go, whoa, girls, that's enough. We're going to settle this right now. I have a penny in my pocket. And so I take out the penny and I said, you get heads, you get tails. Whoever wins gets the front seat. And I flipped it and it was heads and the one girl gets in and it was just the end of the argument, seriously. So it can be as simple as that. And it's kind of fun because it's like, well, I always say, well, let's let the universe decide. Let's flip a coin, right? All right, so your fifth house, your social circle, your friends, victory and success. So this means that you will want to say yes to every social invitation you get right now. There is happiness there waiting for you. You could also be meeting new friends. You could be going to, it, you could be invited into a new circle, which is fabulous. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Now this is going to be different for every one of you. Um, if you've been avoiding someone or a certain situation, you, there may be something that you have to admit about that. Now, this is not saying that you should keep every friend in your circle. There may be people that you have to weed out and then you weed out those people and then you move on. But, you know, don't avoid a whole group just because there's one bad apple in here because there, it looks like there are people within this group, if this message pertains to you, um, that would benefit you if you talk to them. All right, moving on to the sixth house, work and health, shadow. Shadow is the moon card. You could be feeling a little down or depressed right now. Um, the moon card also could ind indicate a cancer. So there could be a cancer in your work life right now um, or a cancer at work that you're not really talking to. Be gentle with yourself. So both of these cards are sort of introverted when it comes to work. Um, in, in a little, you know, it could be, there could be a little depression in the sixth house here. Um, if you've been having any symptoms and you haven't had seen a doctor, please see a doctor as soon as possible. But you know, the message here is don't be so hard on yourself, Pisces. It's going to take some time. And this could actually, you know, your body could be healing from something. Okay. Um, I just realized I need to go get the tarot, the crystal tarot. Let me go do that so we can talk about who's in your sixth house. I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. I'm back. So we have your water signs here, but also the death card indicates a Scorpio. So we've got heavy Scorpio, also Cancer Pisces, um, the other part of the water signs. We also have seven of pentacles here. So that's an earth sign. So that is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, so if you want to follow me the extended description box is below. I've made it affordable for every Pisces. We're going to be looking at your 7th through 12th houses, which is relationship house in depth, 8th house, which also covers intimacy, but also taxes, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant other's income, Ninth house of travel and school, 10th house of career and your mother, 11th house of your child or your best friend in the 12th house, which is about what's to ha coming, which is about what's coming rather three months from now in January. Many blessings to my Pisces. Friends.